So we're now kind of reaching the end of the migration process. This is the largest ste single step in the migration process. Now, as I said before, I recommend this final step, which is just to m move the routing over from the UI router to Angular router and basically to drop dual booting. I recommend to do this in one go, which means you might have to do some preparation. So in the previous lecture, I really would call that kind of preparation for this final step. Do everything else that you can do where you don't have to do it in one step, do it in the previous lecture to this. And now, now we're going to basically do everything else that we need to do to migrate root. And we're going to do that in one step. Now, I'm going to break this up into a couple of videos. But when you're implementing this, you are going to implement this in one step. So for a couple of videos now, we're not going to have a compilable, buildable application that runs. We're going to be kind of migrating stuff in one step. Now, the first thing we need to do is to add something called a root component. So if you know in Angular, modern Angular, the, all the apps would start with one root component. So right now in our index.html, in our body tag, you can see we've got quite a lot of, well, HTML here essentially, and quite a lot of directives, and we've got the UI views here as well. In a modern Angular application, you just have one. You just have something called an app root, or, or you can call it whatever you want, to be honest with you, but you just have one root level node, and everything else is kind of a tree of components descending from this root node. So that's what we need to do is we need to create an app root component. So let's go back into our components and I'm going to call create a file. I'm going to call it app. I'm going to call it app root component.ts. And just to make things simpler, I'll copy some stuff from a previous file. We're not going to need to downgrade this because we're going to do the whole thing in, in one go. Let's get rid of this. So just let's call it app root component. Let's get rid of this template for now. I'm going to replace it with some other template code. I'm going to call it app root. And it's not going to need this. It's not going to need that. And again, it's just we're just using component for now. Let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of this. Okay, let's format the document. Okay, so we've got something we create an app root component. Let's make sure we're including this in. So I'm going to go into our main.ts. I'm going to make sure I've added it into our declaration. Now we're going to eventually be, we're going to be dropping entry components in this step as well. So I'm not going to bother adding it to the entry components just yet. Uh, let me get this here. So find it from components. Okay. And see, so you might as well, now that I'm here, I might as well just get rid of entry components there as well. I won't need those for this situation. And let's get rid of all of this dual booting code that we had previous. We don't need that. And again, we don't need to dual boot it here. So I'm going to drop it there as well. I'm missing a semicolon. And there we go. So that's, this is how we, you would bootstrap an absolutely normal Angular application. So let's just do it there. Now, the next thing we need to do is we actually need to call add a bootstrap property, which is going to be basically the component that you want to be the root of your Angular application. Our root component is going to be app root component. So now, well, now it's looking like pretty much what we would expect from a Angular application. Now, while we're here, let's get rid of these other toaster services. Let's get rid of those, all the other kind of upgraded providers, because we don't, we won't need those in the future as well. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Actually, no, while we're here. So yeah, so we're looking good there right now. We've imported the module. Let's go back into our uh, app root component. And you can see we've got a template here that we need to flesh out. Now the actual template we want to add in here is a template from our index.html. This is the root component. We essentially want it to, to inject the similar kind of template into our root of our application there. So let me go back into app root. And then let's just for now, we'll paste that in there. And uh, actually, I think one thing I did wrong here is app root isn't camel cased there, it's um, kebab cased. So let's, I think that's looking pretty good. Now I'm not gonna expect this to work now to function, but I do expect it to compile at the very least. Let's actually just uh, build this. Okay, great. Now let's go into our application and hit refresh. 
And yeah, everything well looks pretty good. Let's inspect element, no errors in the console. And if I go into, let's actually inspect the root element there. What I'm expecting at the top is app root. So this is our application itself. This is our root component. So now we can see it's actually being injected in. We're not dual booting, not at all. There's no Angular JS being uh, bootstrapping our application here. It's all being run in Angular, but again, because we haven't actually implemented anything, there's no actual functionality, but at least it's loading up and we've got an app root component being rendered on the page.